Morning, Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Um, I was contacted a little while back by a company uh, who asked me if I would be interested in receiving this product and uh, trying it, reviewing it, putting it on the channel if I liked it. Now, I get requests to do this all the time. I have for months and I've turned all of them down. Last week, I, I got an email from Ariat Boots uh, asking me if I wanted to go into a business partnership with them and they would send me some boots and and uh, I I declined uh, because I don't wear Ariat boots and I don't recommend Ariat boots. I use American made boots whenever I can. Uh, and I'm just saying that it's pretty rare that I'm gonna do this, the first one I've ever done. But I, this product is one I'm like, yeah, I would be interested in that and I bet several folks on the channel would be. So we're actually doing a, a review this morning. Um, this is called the Need One Humidor Coolador. Uh, as I've talked about before with cigars, you need to keep them in a certain range of humidity and a certain range of temperature. About 68 to 72 on humidity, and that's preferred for temperature as well, somewhere in there. Um, humidity you can achieve with the the jars like I've talked about I've shown on some of the videos uh, your um, your wood humidor boxes but temperature is a different story and sometimes if you don't have a house that you have central heat and air that you keep it plugged right there then in the summertime uh, it can get kind of warm and that's where this comes in this is the need one uh, Coolador humidor it's it's the specs are it's at 1.7 uh, cubic feet which means it's supposed to hold up to 300 cigars uh, it's thermoelectric technology which means it doesn't have a compressor uh, compressor like your refrigerator does so it, it doesn't have all that size to hold a compressor it doesn't have the noise and uh, the compressor coolers like your refrigerator you run into moisture problems this doesn't have that it's very quiet uh, I'm a little bit hard of hearing and I can't hear it mama says when it's plugged in and it comes on she can just barely hear a little faint hum um, so it will keep your cigars is sealed it'll keep your cigars at the proper humidity um, with whatever your humidity program is and it will help with the temperature you plug it in and then you can adjust the temperature it holds that it's electric here uh, up and down and it'll it'll maintain between 54 and 74 degrees um, that's its range and uh, and then it has a little light so inside it comes shipped with three drawers I'm sorry three shelves and a drawer and of course these are made out of cedar and so when you get it uh, it's, it's very easy what I did uh, when you get it, you take the drawers and the shelves out and you just wipe them down lightly with a wet rag or a sponge that you wring out in distilled water. Distilled water doesn't have uh, the properties in it that will cause mildew. It's very important that you always use distilled water. But you just wipe them down with distilled water, put your humidity where they use Bovita packs, whatever you use, put those in there, close it up and leave it for about two or three days until it comes up to the humidity that you want. Now, the drawer comes with an analog hygrometer, uh, but analog hygrometers are not, um, they don't have a good reputation for dependability. Not these, not anybody else's. Um, so you want, I use a, a digital hygrometer which keeps up with both the temperature and the humidity level that's in your humidor. And so like I said, it says that it'll hold up to 300 cigars. Now, if you uh, are familiar with my channel, you know that most of my cigars, I prefer six by sixties and it will not hold 300 six by sixties, um, but it does pretty good. I, and so, and the other thing is, is the way it's set out, uh, if you buy your cigars by the box and you tend to just you like to put your box in the humidor You won't it won't hold near as many the box takes up space The drawers have a nice 
a handy little lip on the back, uh, which keeps the cigars from rolling off the back when you pull them out to get what you want. And then when you put your cigars in the front, there's room in the back to just throw in some Bovita packs uh, just to maintain your humidity. And so, um, again, it's the first product that's come along that I'm like, I like that. I will use it. And there's other folks that might use it. And so it's just something uh, that you might want to look into. The, uh, the other thing that has helped us with, Mom and I are living in a little bitty Class C motor home while we're working on this school and there's not much space. And so when you keep all the jars like I use, they, it starts taking up a lot of space. So it helps with the space situation. It's freed up some cabinets for Mama, uh, which she liked. And so there's... Uh, so it's just something you might want to look into. It comes with a the small little dish here that you can put more of the uh, distilled water in to help with the humidity. And and then, like I said, you just put the Bovita packs in. And uh, I've been using it for two or three weeks now, and I've run into no downside. Um, when you buy cigars, it, cigars are cheaper by the bulk. You can go into a brick and mortar and buy one cigar but if you have a cigar that you like, if you get online and look and you buy them by the box, they're, they're considerably less expensive. But then you have to store them. You have to keep them. Okay? So this is an option that you want, might want to look at. Now, there will be a link to this. There is a link to this in the description. And that link uh, will go to Amazon. They're sold on Amazon. That link will take you to Amazon. There's a, a $30 discount with that link and then there's also a separate code there for a limited time will give you another $70 off. Now, so they sell retail on Amazon for $389. Uh, but if you click the link in the description, if you decide this is something you want and you go over, you can get a total of $100 off and then there's $279. Uh, so um, maybe, maybe it's something uh, that will help you. Maybe it's something that you'd be interested in. And so, I just wanted to share it with you. So now I'm going to save myself some typing and some question answering later. Save myself some grief because I know while we're at this point, I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, Dwayne, what is in your humidor? What is it? So I'm just going to go ahead and go through that now. All right. I, so I talked about it in the Jaden's journey and a couple of the videos. I talked about the no name, no brand cigars that are coming out of Nicaragua. I've got these up here. I have the uh, 6x60s that are Puro Nicaraguan. And then I have the ones that are a bit smaller that are Nicaraguan um, it, with a uh, San Andreas uh, wrapper on them. And so I have those next drawer down. Uh, Perdomo Habano Maduros, which um, are very becoming very um, popular with me. Next door down, the uh, Perdomo Champagne 10th Anniversary. Now, Mama likes these, and I like these. In fact, I had one this morning with a cup of coffee sitting out here first thing when I want something that's smooth and not real heavy, but flavor, but not so strong it's going to knock the back of my head off. Uh, then I might try one of those. And if you're new, if you're just a beginning cigar smoker and you want a good quality cigar, that won't make you upset your stomach as as you're getting into this. Uh, I can I can really recommend those. Then in the drawer, I have my beloved Partagas Black Label, uh, six by sixties, and uh, and then down here, what do I got? I got my Brickhouse Maduros and my Charter Oak uh, Connecticut Shades, and then over here I've got. My assorted and sundries, I have a few Liga Provada number nines. I've got a couple of Davidoffs. I've got a couple of Alec Bradleys. Uh, just my assorted stuff. And that's what I have in here. And that's, that's how I, that's my cigar setup. Now there is a jar inside. There is one of those humidor jars inside in a cabinet with some cigars in it and a Bovita pack. Those are the Deadwood Sweet Janes. Uh, every once in a while, about once a week, Mama likes one of those of an evening, sitting out having coffee with me. Uh, I keep them in there because I don't want the flavored sweetened cigars um, 
infecting my live my Liga number nines, uh, Liga Provada number nines, and I love Mama, but there's a limit to everything. Okay, so we would not be putting those in here. Probably wouldn't probably wouldn't make a difference, but still, they're fine where they're at. So I hope uh, I hope this helps you. I hope it's interesting, and uh, so if you want to. Uh, if you want to look into it, then like I said, there's a, li a link in the description. All right? So we'll catch you guys later.